everybody. Welcome to South High. As tonight, Sheboygan South hosts Sheboygan North in the first football game of the season. I'm Chris Wright. This is Greg Schwartz. Mike Martin is now with us today. His son's getting married in Elkhart Lake. So, Greg, thanks so much for stepping in. And we offer our congratulations to Marty. <laughs> Let's get down to the football game. For both of you that don't know, there's a new conference this year, and because of that, they had a random selection for scheduling, and in the scheduling, North and South did not come out as a regular conference uh, schedule, so now they have to play a non-conference game. So it's kind of a different situation today, Greg. It's a non-conference game, but it's still a big game, the North-South game. No matter what happens, the North-South game is really big. I don't know if it's ever happened before where the season has been opened against North playing South. Uh, the weather... Shouldn't be a factor, although it's been raining all week. We're just, the fans are pouring in. You got red, you got blue over there, so we're excited, that's for sure. Okay, let's talk a little bit about last season. A lot of high hopes for South last year. Injuries right at the get-go. Uh, things didn't come out the way they want. They only had two wins last year. They got a rebound from that. All kinds of things happened. That anything that could go wrong did. By the time the season ended, we had six starters hurt. I say we because my son Taylor was the quarterback. We had injuries, we had penalties, we had giving up big plays on defenses. And I think South's defense this year in the secondary will be improved. So that should be a major factor right there. But last year was one of those seasons that left a bitter taste in everybody's mouth. That's for sure, for South. Well, you, you mentioned your son Taylor, who's a good one. But uh, this year they got John Kabai taking over, who's a pretty good athlete. You know him from We know him from baseball a little bit. But he's got to fill in those shoes for Taylor. John will play well. He passes well. He's been to football camps before. I know he worked quite a bit on football and, and hockey this summer. And he's ready to go. He'll have a good season. Well, the, the focal point the whole season this year, ladies and gentlemen, will be Ray Smith, their tailback. Got injured at the end of last year, but this guy's talking. Chris Korf and Chris Hine are both talking that he could be a Division One prospect. He's going to be put, playing behind four uh, new starters, but Ray Smith will be the key, huh? He's good enough that even if the line is young, he can make his own plays, that's for sure. I think we'll go with the slogan, everybody loves Raymond, and we'll see where that takes us. All right, let's talk about North a little bit. North came in with a Cinderella season. They went, started off 0-4, ran the table basically to, you know, lost one game to Notre Dame, but qualified for the playoffs. You know, North picking up that momentum to start the season. You know, they did overachieve, I think, a little bit. Maybe not by Coach Brixton's standards, but by all of the fans. But they won by defense, and that's what team sports is supposed to do. Now, they lost a lot of players, that's for sure. I think maybe they lost more players that way than South did, so. We'll see where that leaves their defense. Speaking of their defense, they return three starters at linebacker. That's really got to help for that D. Yeah, that's true. That's their main position. And if all three are back, that can cover up some weaknesses, that's for sure. Well, let's see if one of the keys tonight is Ray Smith versus that linebacker crew. When we return, we'll have the starting lineups for both North and South. In almost 24 7. Parents need to start early to help kids make good technology choices. But where do you start? Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey Kyle. What are you doing? We need to talk about your choice of games. Tunedinfamily.com. Helpful tools you can use for the good of your family. Two million seals and counting, killed over the last decade. Make your voice heard. Visit ifa.org to end the cruelty. Energy prices are just too high. That's what drove us to attempt the first static electricity powered home. Success has been elusive. Besides making the house itself more energy efficient, the smartest thing we did was adding Energy Star products. Static electricity may not be viable. At least we've taken a step for our future. Anybody can make their home more energy efficient. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mommy. Mm -hmm. ah!
the United Church of Christ. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Uh, of the game, North went in to score and because of uh, put themselves into the playoffs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to sing the national anthem, the mother daughter team of Mary Ebing and Dan Shaver. <laughs> Well, last year, uh, Coach, the uh, Chris Hine took over halfway through the season. Coach Pfeiffer resigned. Coach Hine will continue to do the defense, and uh, long time, uh, uh, I guess you could say, he was a star at Sheboygan Falls and then went to Whitewater. Chris Corf will now be running the offense, and he did that last year, too, and uh, made some changes as the year went on. Well, he was the quarterback coach to start the season. And there you see Chris Hine, by the way, in his third year. And then he became uh, line coach when uh, Coach Pfeiffer resigned. But they uh, are going to keep somewhat the same offense. They said they might do some more spread. They're going to do some single back offense. Um, offense, I don't think, is going to be a problem for South. And I think, as again, as I said uh, with Ray Smith there, as Coach Brixen, and I understand he had a, was a bit nervous this week as far as his team wasn't uh, clicking on all cylinders, shall we say, Chris? Yep. Well, little struggle in the scrimmage, I think, last week. Um, but, uh, you know, I think something that South did last year is I know they started off with a type of blocking scheme, a zone blocking scheme, and that didn't work, so they made an adjustment. They debated going with Ray Smith by himself in the backfield. Then they, you know, put the fullback back there where they had so much uh, success when they had Jake Billman here uh, a couple years back. And then, you know, so mix and match. And, you know, as of the last time I talked to the coaching staff, they weren't quite sure which they were going to do, if they're going to add more tight ends, more receivers. and or uh, So it'll be interesting to see just exactly how South comes out today. And, you know, first game, they're not going to put everything that they have into it yet anyhow. You're going to deal with first game jitters, just 10 practices to be ready, basically. And uh, so you're not going to see the full package, that's for sure. As far as North, I don't know, they don't feature a lot of... Uh, Passing, and I think that's going to remain the same. And as you told me before the game, they weren't sure about the quarterback reins yet up until almost just the other day. Yes, just yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see uh, just how that works out. There was actually three uh, gentlemen that were battling for that. Uh, Andy Poles and uh, Travis. Travis Vandewater. Yeah, Travis were, were two of the seniors. And uh, Ryan Eigenberger is a junior as well as competing. So be interesting to see who they come out with. I think there's four keys of the game today, uh, Greg. I think nerves, uh, north-south game, first game of the season. We'll see how that plays. I think turnovers and penalties will be very, very important uh, because it's early in the season. Uh, from the nerves and things, who commits the fewest penalties and the fewest turnovers? And last year, South just had a number of penalties. All year long. It just never quit. So hopefully that's out of there. Well, the offensive line, except for Boutel, is brand new. Yeah, that's true. And uh, two new quarterbacks. So... Uh, uh, that's a, a different, we'll see how those two per 
perform there. There's a good shot of Andy Poles. Uh, and the fourth key, as I mentioned in the opening, Ray Smith versus those linebackers. Uh, David Thompson, Travis Vandewater, and Matt Rolsey, all seniors and all three-year starters. And uh, we're ready to get underway here. Matt Hendricks is about to kick off, and it's a short kickoff. He had a Taking knee. A they didn't call, yeah, they did call it. His knee was down when he caught it. Yeah, and that's the rule in high school. Late so, whistle, but he was on it. So uh, first down, North is going to start off with the, with the ball. We'll call it the 29-yard line. And I think Cullen Johnson is going to be the uh, call on the signals from the bench. He's the defensive captain. He did a nice job in the secondary. I know they're high on him for this year. He's number eight, so keep an eye on him. Well, there's Travis Vandewater. He's going to be your quarterback. Noel Deppies is a running back. Feature a full house backfield. Yeah, Matt Rolsey, David Thompson also back there. Andy Poles is the one that's put out to, to the left here, and on the right went David Thompson. pass behind him intended for Andy Poles who's listed at three different positions. You mentioned it before he was a pretty good basketball player. He uh, quarterback, tight end and D-back they have him for so he's pretty versatile pretty athletic. Come out throwing a little bit different short pass conservative but nevertheless behind him. Yeah but a good pass I think would have uh, made the play there. That will set up a second down and 10 from the 29 and the wall Man, Hendrick dropped back a little bit. Filled in nicely. And at number 40 is Matt Rolsey. His first carry tonight. Now he's mainly a linebacker, but they did say he'd get some carries at running back. I would say he's one of their strongest and best total football players on the roster. Third down, about six. From their own 33. And the water. Play action. Had some time. Thompson's open, and he catches it, and he's down the field to the 40. We'll call it the 35-yard line. Perfect pass and catch. It looked like uh, Charlie Rissy kind of went for the ball there, Greg, and uh, got over his head. He should probably stay behind him. He had about two or three yards on him, and that was pass was well thrown. <laughs> 28-yard pass. It's so all big play, gets north of first down on third and six. Here they come first down now in South's territory. Give us the Deppies, had a nice hole. It was a nice hole and Noel's running pretty hard down the sidelines. Big gain there for Noel Deppies. No penalty, about a 15 yard gain before he was chased out of bounds at the 21. Noel ran hard, comes in listed at 5'9", 154. I think he weighs a bit more than that. You probably wear him down when you catch him too much, Chris. <laughs> Underwater, play action. I think a mix up, huh? Yeah, but a keeper, but still about three yards, kind of some mis misdirection, left and right. Thought South did a pretty nice job of staying home on that play. Now North does do a lot of ball fakes in their backfield. That's that's basically their pattern on offense. Again, first game, uh, and I, we understand that the quarterback situation wasn't resolved until just today or yesterday, so you might see a few of those in the backfield from time to time tonight. Call it the 20, we we're on the 21, so second and nine, Vandewater. In motion goes Andy Poles, too much time. He's talking and delay of game. Makes it second and 14. Well, first penalty goes to North. Short pump fake. Nobody's, Nobody's open. open. Nobody's still open. 
Flushed from the pocket. He's trying to get something from nothing and good scrambling and he stays on his feet. He avoided Shane Foles, the first man. Actually, there wasn't a lot of pressure. He had to avoid him and then he got the roll right. Nobody got open as secondary, we assume, was covering everybody well. Call a gain of well, five. Good. Well, get back to the line of scrimmage till seven. Okay. Vanderwater pumped twice. Still wasn't being there. There's a little bit of rush from the inside. Got out of bounds for a gain of about six. Third down now and about eight and a half. Keeps it again. Short pass again. Nice coverage that time. Very good coverage. Tried to get it out to Thompson. And I think that was Justin Reinecke, a sophomore in the play in the defensive secondary. Making a well-timed hit. Make it fourth down. I think they're in the red zone here, I would assume. I would think because of the fact that they're so close, they'll probably go for it here. I don't know what kind of uh, leg. I think Lee Rios was the kicker, but I don't know who is the kicker as of, as of right now. Big play here, fourth and eight early. So it looked like they jumped. Again. Just as we said, they're not going to feature many passing. They pass, come out passing. Noel Deppies completes, but I think it's maybe only a yard or two gain. Yeah, nice right. catch. Somebody thought soft jump. I don't see a flag. No, nope. no, nope. they jumped, but they didn't uh, go offside. So South holds despite giving up uh, oh baby forty some yards there, but uh, they come out with nothing. So North kind of surprised me, Chris, with a lot of passing on that sequence, and they did move the ball somewhat. South takes over nine minutes twenty eight seconds in the first quarter from their own fifteen yard line, featuring Ray Smith by himself in the backfield. You see trips to the left. Something typical there of North, and uh, there's Ray Smith. There's that stretch play. We'll call it a gain of 12 for Ray. The stretch play can be slow to develop, but oftentimes you don't have anybody out there when you get around the corner. And there you saw it. He wasn't hit until he was brought down. Gain of 12 to start with. South continues the same as they've done for years. And quarterback goes to the sideline, comes back, calls out a play. This time he has Ray Smith to the right. Goodbye. Keeps Hand it off. himself. And a good game there for John Kabai. Game of about seven, I think. Tackled by, we see amongst others, number seven, Travis Vandewater. You know, if you put Ray to the right side, Chris, they're gonna have, he gets attention, so you're gonna bring some, draw some defense over just because of that. And you'd think then they're gonna go the opposite way. Now they come with their Bannock as an outback and Ray Smith behind him. Second down, fumble. Never did exchange. I think uh, South got it back though. Uh, I think they did. I think he got it right there though, Greg. Uh, bad exchange there right away. Ray Smith landed on it. <laughs> Called a no uh, gainer there. We'll bring up third down. Third and about three. Sounds like Ray Smith territory to me. Yeah. Good time for that stretch play. Well, you know what's interesting is North is way up. There's no safety help whatsoever. So if he breaks through the line. As he did. And he's off to the races. 40, 35, 30, 23 yard line. Big gain, Ray Smith. Down to the 21 and just before the snap, Chris, you call it. I know you might have meant for a pass, but just the same, when he got through the line, there was nobody deep. Here you'll see the replay. There he comes. Straight hit, missed up there by David Thompson, who's the only man that had a shot at him early. First down, call it the 21. The Kabai rolling pitch, out. Rolls, throws over the middle. Oh. Nice catch. Indeed it was a catch. Looked like it was almost tipped by a North player, didn't it? Curtis Wilson of the famed Wilson boys, the 
the next brother in the group. Nice pass there. He's 6'3 again. They all, they all come at least <laughs> that size. Yeah. There are two more yet underneath him, just so you know. This is number four here, right? The fourth. All very athletic. Called first and ten again. Nice changes called there by uh, Chris Korf. I think it's first and goal to goal here. Smith's not in the back backfield here. Panic. John's going to keep it. Kabai, no place to go. Tucked his head down and got maybe a yard back to the line of scrimmage. In that play was number 54, Taylor Coulter, and number 70, Jacob McKnight. A couple of big boys up front. North has some good size in that defensive line. I think they're bigger than they were last year, Chris. Yep, a lot bigger. I know Coach Brixen was saying he's got a bunch of guys over 225. Last year he had one. Pitch to Smith. Pitch to Smith. Five, and three, three-yard line. A.J. Conrad making an initial hit, hanging on. A.J.'s got a lot of heart. He really does. I know the coaches had an article featuring his heart the other day, and I knew him as a former student, and he's a great kid and very competitive. As a matter of fact, he's a catcher in baseball. Yep. I think it's going to be third down, and let's call it the one here, Greg. Okay. Yep. Ray Smith, you're not going to stop him, and we have a touchdown for South. So South scores in their first possession. A one-yard gain. And that makes it six to nothing with at the 551 mark in the first quarter. 85 yards, Greg, featuring Ray Smith, but a nice pass from Kabai to Wilson to change things up a little bit. But uh, you wanted Ray Smith, you got Ray Smith, and uh, North's going to have to figure out how to stop him here. You're going to have to see how many yardage he has in the first quarter or how much yardage in the first quarter. That's Peter Moore coming out this year to do some kicking. I, we have a bad vantage point for kicking in that direction. Did you just miss it left? Yeah, he just missed it. Well, with... 551 left in the first quarter. It's south six, north nothing. Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey Kyle. What are you doing? We need to talk about your choice of games. Tunedinfamily.com. Helpful tools you can use for the good of your family. We're back here at South High where South took the ball on the 15 after stopping North on fourth down. Marched basically 85 yards. And how many of those were picked up by Smith? Do you have it? Chris? Yeah, I do. He had uh, how about uh, 58 plus 8, 66 yards on five carries and a TD. Nice tidy number for first quarter. Matt Hendricks going to kick off. He did most of the kicking off last year, or at least some of it. He had a slight concussion and was held out of their uh, four-team scrimmage earlier this season, but everything's a go now. Here's Hendricks to kick again. Deep for north is David Thompson, Andy Bowles, and the kick yep. is going to be short. Maybe out of bounds. It stays in play. Number 35 dives on it to make sure that would be Joe Bergerino. You know Joe. We know Joe. That's Joe Jr. right there. <laughs> That's right. Joey. <laughs> Looking over at the north section, uh, South does have brand new bleachers this year. They, they've added to the fact that they can now hold a, a playoff game if ever that situation arises because they needed so many seats. So the north fans are the first to, to use that this year as north come to the line of scrimmage. Wow, very impressive first drive by North. It just stalled at about the 20, and of course a penalty was part of that situation. And their first series was featured passing. Here's Noel Depp, he's cutting back to the left. Gains about a yard, maybe two. Find it very difficult that time to uh, go anywhere. Brent Jacobs on the bottom of that pile. 5'11", 190 linebacker, junior. Did some long snapping last year.
Thompson and pulls split. Handoff again is to Deppies, but not this time as number 34, Brent Jacobs, stops him for basically a loss of one. Jeff Selko, second year starter, also in in that play, as was Colin Johnson up front, so they saw something and the secondary was up to the line of scrimmage in that one. That'll bring up third and nine. North's backs haven't been hitting the hole too hard so far, Chris. They kind of tiptoed up to that one. Deppie's kind of in the uh, slot here. A slow developing play. Looking at Deppie's again, and here's Poles with a nice, nice catch. Nice catch and pass. That's Poles on Heisen, another long play. Colin Johnson again on that same pattern. There you see the replay. Good coverage, but just a good pass and throw, and he used his body nicely to shield off Colin Johnson on that one. On their own 45-yard line. So South had a pass defense, and it'll come back out now at their normal defense. First down, in nope. tight. Quick handoff there to Thompson, who sheds one blocker. Still up. Muscles his way to the 50. Now that was an impressive run. He had several guys with good shots at him. Nobody could bring him down. Finally, Jeff Zelko went in a stop. That was what? a good one. He's been, he started last year and did a nice job. I was watching their right defensive tackle, Noah Ross. Depending upon how North comes out of the scrimmage, he'll spin and set up in a hole that way instead of just slide over. Something that's a little bit different. Nice shot there. Of now David the other Thompson. one did, so they all spin over. Deppies. Inside, kind of a trap. But who again is number 34, Brent Jacobs. 5'11", 190, smells that play and stuffs it out. So it may be a passing situation. Thus far in the game, North has looked good passing the ball and haven't had too much running room when they're running. In tight again, Thompson splits to the right. Vanderwater, handoff to- Inside handoff. Boy, he runs hard. Matt Rolsey. Matt Rolsey. 10 more yards for him. And that was almost another one of those situations where it was in reverse, where it, South had nobody back in the secondary. He almost broke that one. We have 3.03 in the first quarter. <laughs> South six. North nothing, there you see the score. Kerry Kautzer spinning the dials North, in there. North has three backs. One, two of them slide over to the slot. Inside of South Territory at the 40. Vanderwater coming from behind, just missed him. Nice pass out there. Real nice looking play that one. David Thompson out in the flat. Another 15 yard gain on the pass. This time it was Vanderwater to Thompson. Here you'll see the rollout. He got hit just as he released, but it was a nice, nice reacting play. Colin Johnson, number eight. We've seen him make a number of stops in the secondary already. That's good news and bad news usually, right? When the secondary has to be making so many tackles. Band of water over center. Well, North got down here before, but South stopped him. Band of water on the keeper. Good effort for him as he gets close to the 20 yard line. Colin Johnson makes a tackle, pick up above all five, maybe four. 225 left, another very impressive drive for Sheboygan North. It's something that North, it would be, of course it always, ball control is always a good game, but you want to keep Ray Smith off the field, Chris, this is one way to do it. Good point, Greg. Quick pitch to Deppies. Gets to the end. He got outside. Nice, Call it. nice run by Noel. Down to about, where are we at? The six. He put on a burst of speed there. Yeah. Quick burst of speed. A big gainer there. Another 15 yards gainer. And we're going to call North. First and, let's call it from the seven. First and seven from the seven. That pitch was like one of those old laterals. He just lateraled it out there and he just took off. With that kind of speed, you may have to get him the green light in base stealing this year, huh, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So now we got first and goal at the six here. Quick handoff, Matt Rosie driving down to about the four or three. Matt Rosie is a weight machine. He loves hitting those weights. Him and David Thompson like it in the weight room. Last year was Nick Jones, one of those guys right. for North that would just was a weight machine. Everybody did. Now they look at Matt Rosie, David Thompson, kids like that. I knew Nick well. I hope he does well at Oshkosh. Last I heard, he was going to go off for football. Second down from the four. I think about the four, maybe three and a half. There's a quick pitch. Noel had trouble with it. The pitch almost led him too far. He cut back. And what do you think? Down to the two, maybe? Good decision, though, I thought, by Noel, though, to cut it back in. In Noel did try to get outside, but he cut it back in. You're right. I think he had a loss of yardage had he done on the outside. The pitch kind of, he was a nice catch to begin with. He used his right hand and brought it into him. You know, I think if we go by time and possession, North has had the ball a long time in this first quarter. Yeah, and if we're looking at uh, under, uh, under a minute here in the uh, first quarter, third down, let's call it the one, one and a half. We're going to have a timeout. Timeout North. No, timeout South. Chris Hine wants to talk things over with his defense. Well, with 45 seconds left in the uh, first quarter, it's south six, north nothing, but north is driving. You're trying to ride it. And North out of the huddle, and here they go. 45 seconds left in the first quarter, third down. It's a nice close-up. Yep, Brian Andrews down there on the field. We're always happy to have him back again with TV8 Sports. Quick handoff to Matt Rolls. He fumbled the ball. He fumbled it. He was stood up, and then he fumbled. Players See? are whistling or pointing south. We told you, turnovers and... It is. So on third down, a fumble. It didn't look like a real smooth handoff there either. He was standing up too straight for one thing, and that may have meant that he was trying to get the ball back in his grasp. It looks like um, Brent Jacobs recovered the ball. Defense is going to huddle over here with Coach Hine. We just talked about a timeout. I guess it paid off. Absolutely. There and you go. With 40 seconds left in the first quarter, the second stop by the South defense, the first time time of possession. Here you're going to see the replay. Now they came out of the huddle without really being a huddle, Chris. They were huddling over on the sidelines, and they came right to the line of scrimmage. Maybe that disrupted something, but here goes South. Now they want to make sure they hang on to the ball down here. John Kabai over center. Nobody in the backfield. Let's see if uh, South or North gets right in there. He's just going to sneak it up. Matt Rolsey, who just fumbled the ball, met him right at the line of scrimmage there. I don't think he gained anything. Usually in a straight-ahead keeper, you're going to gain a yard. And they got him for about three inches. <laughs> <laughs> no, up to a foot now. Okay, second down. Fifteen. 14 could be the last play of the quarter the wind is kind of a what do we got here from at probably north solid out of the uh, north yeah so it'd be at south to their advantage right now but you don't want to be passing down here unless you have Kabai to fumble the Another ball. fumble and as time expires we're going to debate it and north gets the ball right back oh that was an exchange all it did is eat up about 45 seconds of time that play was not right from the start so again first game Chris first game is right well after one quarter of play it's six to nothing south
These days, kids are logged on or plugged in almost 24-7. Parents need to start early to help kids make good technology choices. But where do you start? Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey, Kyle. What are you doing? Yep. We need to talk about your choice of games. Tunedinfamily.com. Helpful tools yeah, you can use well, for the good oh. of your family. Well, we played one quarter, and uh, key of the game number two, turnovers and penalties. The first drive, North drove all the way down, and the penalty stopped them. Then uh, South came down with a nice 85-yard drive where Ray Smith capped that with a uh, touchdown. Uh, then the uh, last drive, North again, marched right down the field, but a turnover uh, by Matt Rolsey uh, right on the one-yard line. So? And uh, South returns the favor with one. So uh, turnovers and penalties have been kind of uh, important in that first quarter. They ran two plays in that sequence. One, just the quarterback straight ahead for nothing. And the second one looked like a mix-up. So just before they started that se sequence, I said they better take care of the ball down here. And, well, they, and they didn't. No, they did not. I saw during the timeout on the sideline here, Ray Smith being a senior trying to rally the forces down here. Something a senior has to do, and especially in football, you just gotta take charge. There's a big article written on him this week, and he knows his responsibility anyhow, but that's just something that goes with the territory of being your senior focused star player. So we got North taking over, coming out of the huddle with Coach Brixen. Certainly it looks like a big offensive line compared to years past. Kyle Marr, Mike Wang, looking for a few numbers there. Linemen never get their due. We'll try and get some of those as the game goes along. We'll see if they give it back to Rolsey here. He's right behind the quarterback, and they did. Coach, you call it, and he's in. Touchdown north, Matt Rolsey, the senior. He had the big stuff on Kabai before, and then the uh, fumble, and he gets another chance and sticks it in there. Here you see the replay, and basically... Uh, nice blocking up front. Yeah, I was just going to say... The left side of the north line. Cleared it out for a touchdown for Matt Rolsey. Tyle Coulter, one of the, I think he's the left guard on that side, did a nice job. Travis Vandewater is also the quarterback as the kicker, and they have a chance to take the lead here. But a mixed up snap and Stockdale's running. He's got... Uh, Threw into traffic and didn't have much of a chance and Colin Johnson is there. Well, so it didn't look like the snap was bad. Maybe we'll see a replay. It just may have slipped. Well, it took two seconds of the second quarter to get the TD. Here you'll see it, Greg. There's a snap. It may have been a bit low, but I think it was handled. Basically could have been handled. He tried to do what he could with it, but... No chance on that, so we got a 6-6 tie. Interesting offenses by both teams thus far in that they've had a couple of nice plays, but then they had some really bad looking plays too. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it is the first game, there's no question. And as I said, nerves, north-south game and uh, first game of the season. And I think Coach Brixen made a comment, uh, you know, these teams will probably look a lot more sharper come uh, October and uh, than they do today, and probably not a good indication of what either team is probably going to be like this year. And even with their offensive plays, and we just hope right now everybody's healthy. Let's hope it stays that way. That that would be nice right from there. It looks like Stockdale is going to kick off here. Yeah, big. They got him listed at six nine. Yep. I think Danny Stockdale, nice kid, had some uh, leg problems, did not finish the basketball season. We're happy to see him out this year. And There's there. a nice kick, nice fielded kick. by Renzelman, Grant Renzelman. Gets brought down nicely in a nice tackle. Robert Strickler by there. By Robert it? Strickler. Yeah. So South with their uh, third time with the ball tonight. We'll start from there. On 26 yard line. And a very impressive first drive. Second drive, they started on their own one. They fumbled the ball, but uh, they had an 85 yard drive already. Uh, so 85 yards, basically 66 of those yards were by Ray Smith. 
Bannock, the lead blocker in that one. Ray cuts outside, and I was going to say it may be up to him. Yeah, that was up to Noel Deppies. He didn't make the play. And another North tackler just bangs off him, and that is not how you're going to stop Ray Smith. Uh, he made a, uh, a point to mention that he was caught from behind two times last year. He said that wasn't going to happen again. I remember that Kevin Rother. Now that kid can run. So uh, he's playing D1 baseball at uh, Butler. So uh, he, I asked one of the baseball coaches because baseball-wise, he didn't always have the skills, but he ran a 6'6". Six, six. They said and that was the key to that. There goes Ray on the right side and finally pushed out of bounds there by Andy Pulse, whose been, name has been mentioned quite a bit today. There's a keeper, John Kabai outside. Spun inside. Made Pools miss the tackle, but he had no chance but to kind of dive forward. But it was a nice run, a gain of about seven. Grant Renzelman comes in. And Jacob Bannock out. He's their up back. Their lead blocker. Looks like he's got a little ding on the knee. Seems to be okay. Second down, about three. Yep, sets up second down and three. Wilson over here. Renzelman on to the left side here. Shotgun. Goodbye, pitch, Smith. No one's out there. 30, 25, 20. Nice turn up the field. And He's out of bounds at the 20. There's an interesting, I was, you know, it's kind of funny. They promised a shotgun last year and then well, the coaching staff being having some problems and things last year, it just didn't work out. But there we see the shotgun. And just in that quick pitch, there was nobody to get to Ray. So that looks like it's going to be a play that at halftime is going to have to be discussed by North. Yeah, really the contain on the outside for North so far has not really been there, and it's being exposed by Ray Smith. South on North's 20-yard line. First and 10, 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Ray Smith in motion from another shotgun. Here's Kabai, a keeper. Rolling left, Van no place to up. go. Nice yep. tackle. Yeah, Vanderwater came up and smelled that one and stopped it for maybe a gain of one. Now this has to be a new look that I wouldn't think North was expecting a shotgun. I know Green Bay West did a lot of shotgun last year and I was kind of impressed with their quarterback was able to do things and especially you see Rush is coming. And we got a timeout by one of the officials. John Kabai is talking to an official. Maybe it's a equipment, chin strap or whatever. Clock is stopped at 10.25 in the second quarter. South marching. This sequence featured Ray Smith outside. And the last two plays were from a shotgun. Travis Vanderwater stopped that one before John Kabai had much of a chance to roll left. So it's second down, about nine. Ray Smith, 10 minutes in the second quarter. He has 113 yards on seven carries. He's the lone setback right now behind John Kabai. He barks out signals. There's that quick pass out there and a nice hit. Travis Brunette, who caught about 20-some passes last year, caught that and actually lost about a yard. The pass was slow in the secondary to try and get him some one-on-one -on -one coverage, but the, there to meet him was the safety of making a nice play. We're going to call it now third and 10 from the 20. So here's a big play. Well, again, like before, I think we're in two-down territory for South. Goodbye. Ray Smith, the lone setback, trips left. Passing again. Looking left. He's got a wide open receiver. There he is, wide open, nice, nice pass. Grant Renzelman is in. How about that pass and catch there? Goodbye to Renzelman in the corner. Seemed like Grant smelled the end zone, and he snuck it right into the corner there. Nice, he had trips left, so he was looking left as he right from the roll back and nice pass. Caught it about the well, we'll see it right here. Set up. No pressure till the end. It's all left. Caught it about the 10 and just made it in. Nice run, the extra point. Yeah, try the extra point again. I was Peter Moore. 
An excellent swimmer. Missed that one, a little bit wide left. Well, he missed that one wide left, and so neither team can convert extra points. So that leaves the score with 9.18 left in the second quarter. Sheboygan South, Sheboygan North 6. Maybe he made it. satisfied with things <laughs> but it's been kind of on both offenses both passing and running so far that always makes it kind of a like doing the other side and next week Marty will be back and again, we congratulate him and his son for his son wedding days today. I think his name is Patrick. Is that correct? Yep, Patrick, yep. They're out at the Ostoff spending uh, Marty's money. Well, he's got enough of it, so that's okay. <laughs> well, Matt Hendricks for the third time tonight is going to kick off. Both kicks so far have been real short, which gave North some pretty good field position. Now he's got to kick into the wind. And an another short kick, bouncing at the 25. Picked up by Poles. Pulls that to 25, and there's a big mush and mush and a lot of red and white. And we'll call it the 29 to start the next series for North. 12 to 6, Sheboygan South. If you feel that short kick on the fly, you got a chance to do something with it, but if it's going to bounce, every everybody's in trouble. So 9-12 left in the first half. Here you see big Luke Steinbrecher coming off the field. Travis Vandewater, number seven. He's your quarterback. He's a senior. Matt, Matt Hendricks backs up. Self rolls into that four-man line. Pitch out wide. Robert Strickler. Yeah, new running back that time. Strickler on the ball carry on a quick pitch. Taylor Billman. Senior defensive back making the tackle. Had a lot of injuries last year. Tough little kid. Call it a gain of three for Strickler. So he got his first carry of the night. There's a nice shot there by Brian. Dan Reinbold, number 54. Hendricks backs up. Something did not work right. Maybe a little motion there. It looked like he was looking deep too. It was motion, you're correct. Second penalty of the night for North. Backs him up, five. So we'll call it second down and 12. South brings a little bit of pass defense here. Shane Fultz coming in. Ryan Eigenberger into the huddle, so that's interesting. You got possibility of two quarterbacks on that, so Very good thinking what I'm thinking, a possible option. Never know here. Ryan Eigenberger, number six. Eric Wiesman on the top camera tonight. Brian Andrews down below. Greg Schwartz along with Chris Wright, and they're not going to get any type of pass situation there as Sheboygan South brought the house. Dan Reinbold. Just the guy we featured there with the big sack. They got him at a nose tackle and he just came through from that left side and Travis just had to hang on to the ball. He was hit. Caught a loss. That has to be the big defensive play on either end so far tonight. Yeah, that sets up third and 19 on the 19 for Sheboygan North. Vandewater barking out the signals. Now they've been pretty good on their 15, 20 yard passes. Looked passive. like an offside of blitz, I think. Somebody shot too soon. No, I, th I think we're gonna get motion again okay. on, on North. And now the penalties are starting to mount. And uh, South, I believe, will accept that one and say we'll take five. You're more. right, they were coming with a blitz, but in that pulled one of the linemen for North pulled his hand up. 
and said, I better make a play here and cause him to rush too soon. So it's third and 24. Well, knowing Coach Hine, the house could be coming again. Clock running at 7-10. South can get a chance to get the ball in good territory. South just drops back in their straight coverage. There's nobody open. Vanderwater's gonna shove it downfield. Hopefully Deppies can make a play. Ooh. But he's not gonna because number eight, Colin Johnson got his paw in there and knocked it away. One thing that Deppies did do is get behind the receivers. If he throws that ball a foot higher, it may have been a long game. He rolled left a little bit and had to come back. I thought he was gonna eat the ball at first. It looked like he was gonna throw a no crawl, but you're right, Chris, Deppies did get behind the secondary. Colin Johnson had to kind of leap to get his hand on it to knock it away. Well, Deppies, who just had that uh, pass knocked away from him, is now doing the punting. This should give South great position, especially with that guy, number 37, about to receive the punt. You got to think you're going to punt it away. He gets off a nice spiral. Field that at the 49-yard line. Um, let's see how far he goes. He's up across the 40. Nice coverage by North. But he and he fumbled. And North has it, I think. They, they do. Well, another. Number six, Ryan Eigenberger on that. And they did have nice coverage on Smith, Chris. I don't know if we'll get a chance to see that, but they were around him that time. And Ryan Eigenberger will get credit for the fumble recovery as they get the ball back. Oh, here you'll see the replay. We had a fumble earlier. So you see him feel that at his own. 49, got up to about the 40 here. Nice five, six guys. So actually about a 10 yard return. The ball was coughed up. Well, it looks like we're gonna have a timeout here, Greg. I think it was North, but I'm not sure. Let's see if we can see on the scoreboard. Well, with that, we'll take a quick break. 12-6 South. almost 24 seven. Parents need to start early to help kids make good technology choices. But where do you start? Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey Kyle. What are you doing? We need to talk about your choice of games. tunedinfamily.com. Helpful tools you can use for the good of your family. Back at the line of scrimmage here. 38 yard line, trailing 12 to six, 624 left in the second quarter. Fumble by Smith, gives North another chance, but that ball looked to be tipped from Vandewater to Pulls. It's gonna set up second down. Travis is a big kid at 6-2. He didn't come over the top on that throw. And the pit was batted down just a little bit behind his intended receiver. Stockdale, speaking of big kids, is coming in the ball game at 6-9. At a receiver as they're panning the south. Red and white crowd here. Got a chance to walk through before and saw a lot of last year's players down there before they go off to school. Very early game. School hasn't even started yet. So there's still some families, I think, taking vacation. As a matter of fact, I saw the athletic director Stengel alluding to that. Here's a handoff left side. No place to go. That's Striegel's second, excuse me, Strickler's second carry tonight. First one he went for three yards. This one he went for minus two. Brent Jacobs, again, an inside linebacker, made a really nice play amongst others. We've called his name quite a bit on defense so far today. As Noah Ross comes out, one of the South's bigger interior defensive linemen. Sets up another passing situation. Third down, 11. No, North has done more passing than we thought. This is certainly yep. a passing situation. He does drop straight back. He's looking at Deppies again. And nice coverage, and Cullen Johnson hung on to it. Well, he was burned before, but he wasn't going to be burned this time. I think they went to the well one too many times on that one. Had good coverage, or... Good blocking, but it was good coverage, excellent coverage by Colin Johnson. Kind of underthrew him a bit. Nevertheless, it was a good play by Johnson. 
looking for Deppies. There's a penalty also on North. Obviously, South is going to uh, decline. decline that penalty. It's going to be South ball. With plenty of time left in the half. This is a big series of 527, leading 12 to 6. There you see a good shot of Con. Nice play there. Matt Hendricks, linebacker in on that. Yeah, Deppie's got behind him on the last one. He tipped it away, but this time he was right there and uh, made a nice, nice play there. Two backs, Ray Smith, the deep back. Yep, yep, no, uh, excuse me, Wilson and Brunette over here on the left. Here comes Ray again. Good contain this Stiff time. Arm. Stiff arm the first man through before A.J. Conrad made the play. I thought a much better job there by uh, North on their contain. You're, you're right, he didn't get to the outside. Danny Diener was leading the blocking in that one. He's also a, a blocking back, if you will. He and Bannock kind of rotate at that spot. Ray back by himself. A lot of wide receivers in on this one. Trips right. And Curtis Wilson to the left. And it's an inside reverse. I never, never got the handoff to him. Inside reverse intended for Grant Renzelman. Put it in his chest a little bit too high. Bounced off. Make it third and nine. Inside handoff tried to fool uh, Sheboygan North there, but uh, again, the exchanges, uh, Greg mentioned, did not work. It sets up about a third and eight and a half, third and nine. Goodbye back to pass. He's looking down the field. He's wide open. There he is. Wide open is correct. That's Curtis Wilson down to about the 23-yard line. Some uh, missed coverage, I would assume. Yeah, Noel Deppies came up, and Wilson went by him, and there was nobody there. A nice pitch and catch. And a wall to Wilson. Here you see the replay. No white jerseys there. And Wilson's off to the races, at least down to the 24. They had trips on that side. Yet there weren't enough secondary back there, that's for sure. Here's a shotgun again. We went to that down here last time up. Kabai gonna keep her up the middle for about seven. Penalty flag. Is that a down. flag in the backfield? Kind of a quick count. Don't know if everybody was set or not. Oh, we have a hold. Has South been penalty free up to this point? Yep, looking at my sheets here. But that was a. Not the time to get one, and it seemed like that, again, last year, something that South had a lot is penalties at untimely situations. You know, they drive down a penalty, push them back. Here again, they're inside the red zone. Um, after that run there by Kabai, instead they're going to move it back. Yeah, they don't give us numbers in high school, you know, who was holding, but it was called quickly, so we assume it was one of the interior linemen. And uh, remember, too, I believe that's a spot foul, too, so it doesn't, that's true. Ne doesn't necessarily mean it's first and 20. Um, As a matter of fact, what we got him at? It is that, just about, though, so. 21, maybe. South a little mixed up looking to the bench as who's supposed to be in right now. Never a good sign. Grant right. Renzeman in front of Ray Smith on this one. First two, down. Go ahead. Two wide receivers to the left. Now we're going. It, there's a timeout south. There was a mix-up from the start, Chris. He broke the huddle. When you're looking to the when five guys looking to the bench, you know something's not right. Well, with that timeout, 316 left. Sheboygan South 12. Sheboygan North 6.
The United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Here we go, back with three minutes and 16 seconds left. South has the ball, needed a timeout. That's their second one used in this half. North has all three remaining. What's interesting, uh, Greg, is that uh, in the second quarter, Ray Smith has just carried the ball three times. Yes, you're right. They have at North has had better containment, but hasn't been able to cover on the passing in this quarter as well. So, South spreading out there, what they're doing as North was in the first quarter. Here we got John Kabai under center, goes back straight, short drop, tosses one out here. He's got an open Travis Brunette at the 30 yard line. Yeah, Travis, as you mentioned before, stepped up and caught a bunch of passes last year. Kind of as their third you know, basic receiver and did a very nice job. He had to come in. Nick Wilson got hurt. He and had two real nice touchdown passes up in Green Bay West when we actually went deep on a few routes and he had two nice passes. I know he likes football a lot and he was hoping to maybe play at Whitewater, at least that's what his mother said. Now we have a third down, second down and about 15. John Kabai under center again, Ray Smith as the lone back. John dropping straight back, getting good time, so threw it short. Started to sprint out. I think we better uh, give South's interior line some credit here. They're doing a nice job of blocking up front. Yeah, Kabai rolled out. Looked down the field to Renzelman. The ball was thrown a little bit short. It's going to set up about third and 16. We'll call it the 30-yard line. And again, it be interesting to see if, if uh, South picks up some yardage here if they decide to go for it on fourth down. Again, uh, Ray Smith just three carries in the, in the second quarter. Uh, penalties, of course, have hurt that a little bit. There's a shotgun, and it's not a real deep shotgun, but we got the option. He's going to pitch it, and he does. You saw that developing from the shotgun, just running the option, and he pitched to Ray. And gain of about, what do we got, six, seven? Anyhow. Yeah, well, well, he got uh, about nine yards, I okay. think. And so we're spotting it at the 20. Oh, well, we'll, yeah, we'll make it 10 yards then. So it's fourth and five. He'll go for it here. Two minutes and two seconds in the half. I thought the pitch or whatever was a little too close. That option should be a little bit out. Well, it was one of those where he'd already gained, you know, yeah. so it, sometimes the spread doesn't stay like you design it. Well, it's fourth down here. Six yards to go, minute 48 left. Uh-oh, and North. Looks like North jumped. North is going to help South here a lot. Give him an automatic first down. Two interior linemen jumping. No argument. So that moves it down to the 15 and the first down. That takes some of the suspense away, that's for sure. I don't know if he's got a first down. I think we're going to call it fourth and a one. Oh, you're right. Good call. That's what you and Marty usually argue about, isn't it? <laughs> he always asks if it's uh, first down or not. Totally different situation here. This has got to be either uh, Ray Smith or uh, Ray Smith. Well, you're right, and I, not being a coach, I never do understand why quarterback sneaks are never called anymore. It's always a feature back up the middle. We got a timeout by North on this one. Well, with 127 left in the second quarter, it's still South 12, North. These days, kids are logged on or plugged in See Chris Korf there talking to the offense. I don't think they're going to change their play. No, North had to try and regroup. This is a big, bigger play for North right now than it is for South. Here you're seeing some of the South fans, some of the JV players. And did you say, uh, Chris, that game was called off last night? I thought they played it. Uh, I think this, it was moved sites. I think it was moved to over here. I do not know the results. Okay. Or I, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, if it was called off or not. Both teams coming back out in the field now, as it's as we said, fourth and one. See John Kabai and Ray Smith, Travis Brunette, Corey Wunsch, one of the tackles. I might have a tendency to go over James Boutel here if I was a running back or calling his play. 
and that's the side they go to, but they didn't Ooh, make boy. it. Oh, boy. I don't think they made it, Chris. I don't know. It's going to be uh, time for the old spot and foot mark here. The South kids kind of push it forward. They're going to have to bring out the measurements here. The clock is stopped at a minute 22. They're going to bring out the chains. But I'll tell you, that was a heck of a play by Sheboygan North. You don't stop Ray Smith flat like that. And they often. ran over their best lineman, and I would say James Boutel is their best offensive lineman. They ran over left guard, left tackle, and nothing doing. Give all the credit to North on that one. And it is short. Wow. That is a big play, Chris. So that might take some momentum for North into the locker room at halftime if nothing else changes. So a big stop by North. Each team now has stopped the other inside the red zone. North takes over from, we'll call it the 15 yard line. First down for North. Wonder if they'll be a little bit careful because they're pinned so far back. We'll huh? see, they've, they've done some unexpected things tonight so I don't wanna make any judgments yet, but they are in that one, it's a straight handoff basically. Yeah, sometimes it always depends on like the first play, if it's a big gainer or anything like True. that. True. There's a timeout north. Uh -oh. We'll keep it here. North huddles on the field with this timeout as Coach Hine is coming out with the defense for south. Well, you alluded to uh, mistakes and uh, nerves and things, and I think we've had that in the first half. I think they've calmed down quite a bit. They've picked it up a little bit. Penalties have increased, but... Uh, um, been an interesting first half, no question. I'm just uh, surprised and kind of excited to see both teams using the pass more than I was led to believe that they would. And that has opened things up. There's been some big plays, but both ways, offensively and defensive, both teams have had some bright moments and some not so bright, but it's been a fun game to watch thus far. I think North would be happy just to come out of this only down by six, that's for sure. The first half. There's some more South fans. First game of the year for a North South game, Chris. <laughs> even though the the players feel it, I don't know if the fans are ready are ready no. for it yet. I know it seems weird watching. I agree with you. Stockdale on the right, covered by six three Charlie Rissy. So he, they got their tallest receiver on our defensive back on him. Well, that was nice big. run, but he coughed it up. The refs are saying the, fum the ground caused the fumble. I think it was a good call. Maybe we'll see it on replay. Well, not much of an argument, I don't think. Coach Renzman has his hat off, and I don't know if it's in the no, it's something else. Thought maybe he saw it a different way. No argument from anybody. The clock continues to roll. Minute two left. Well, we'll call it a 10-yard gain there for uh, David Thompson on back-to-back -back carries. Noel Deppie's in motion, one setback to fake to him. Water on a, Vanda Water on a short, throws it up for grabs. Not a good decision. Right into the hands of Charlie Rissey. Well, he was kind of forced out of the pocket there. He rolled to the right and tried to make something happen. Not a horrible thing, but uh, does give South pretty good, you know. It was a slow developing play and he didn't roll far enough. You know, he's kind of stayed close to his, off his right tackle and didn't seek any uh, openings, and he threw it up in a spot where South's defense was pretty well stacked. Now we're gonna, South's gonna go for it, being blitzed from behind, a little late hit. Almost didn't wrap him, but Noel Deppies makes the hit. And a pass to Grant Renzum and John Kabai getting hit as he threw the ball. Yeah, number 88, we don't have the number of that player um, who was nope. there on the late, late hit. We'll call it a gain of about, oh, seven yards. Uh, Kabai to Renzelman. Renzelman and Kabai already hooked up for one touchdown. Uh, the 5.51 mark of the first quarter, Smith scored the first touchdown for South to give him a 6 nothing lead. Matt Rolsey, after a Kabai fumble on the one, scored to make it 6-6. Six to six. And goodbye to Renzelman, 20 yards out at the 9-18 mark of the uh, second quarter. Gave them the lead. Neither team has converted on an extra point. And 
I'm not sure if this is Salas last time out. The scoreboard says they have one remaining. It's a second down and three. Now both teams, when they've gone to a straight pass, have had men open. Of course, being a cornerback at any level of football is about the toughest position to play. John Tobai calls the play after getting it from Coach Korf. We'll get it from a shotgun. Ray Smith behind him, the lone setback. Trips left, there's that pitch left. He turned it up nicely. Tried to get a block from James Boutel. One of those things where you kind of block a man into it, that can happen. Well, he and should have enough for a first down, uh, Greg. He's up across the 30, we'll call it the 29. He has a first down with 29 seconds left and he's gonna take it from under center on this one. Ray Smith, the lone back, John drops straight back. He's going hey, for it. Out there. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody bit and Curtis Wilson is all alone. Yeah, Connor Stengel went for the short play and uh, right by him went Wilson. So the turnover, the interception costs North as Kabai to Wilson on basically just a down and out, basically a simple uh, you know, playground play and uh, Stengel bit and down went Wilson down the street into the end zone for six points to give South now an 18 to six lead. I was just talking to one of the South coaches yesterday and he had mentioned that Connor Stengel was probably gonna get a lot of playing time if not starting. Well, as a sophomore starting in defensive secondary, that's a tough job. There's a high snap, but they convert. The kick is good by number 28, Peter Moore. A senior coming out for football this year as a place kicker. And they had told me he last year he was a pretty good kicker. And here he went out his senior year, and sure enough, as I said before, he's a very good swimmer. So we expected a lot of lightning, a lot of thunder from the uh, Ray Smith, but two, two touchdown passes from John Kabai tonight. Gives South a 19-6 lead. As we said before, that North would have been glad to come out of that half without, you know, just hanging on to the ball. And that cost them. Yep, a turnover late which is the, uh, basically the third, third turnover for Sheboygan North in the first half. Uh, costs Sheboygan North. And not only will uh, North, excuse me, South most likely take the lead in the halftime, they'll get the football to start the second half. That's right, good point. As Matty Hendricks tees it up, puts his hand up and leads him forward. It's off a relatively short kick at the 20-yard line. David Thompson has got the ball. He's at about the 30, and with 15 seconds left, North will probably uh, have the last chance to score here before halftime. I would think this time they're going to play this one safe. They do have two timeouts left, but with 15 seconds left. We've got a full house backfield, so not one splits into a slot. That would be David Thompson, number eight. Kind of a fake, he's gonna looking towards the sidelines. He throws one out there, nice catch. Thompson went into the flat. He catches the ball, he gets it out to about the 43, but 11 yard gain at May ND. You know, they're going to call timeout. Yeah, they got it to. Uh, with seven seconds left. Not a lot of time. North does call timeout. We'll keep it here. Seven seconds left. South 19, North 6. A uh, late turnover by Sheboygan North. I'm a bit surprised here that after getting kind of shooting themselves in the foot the last series, turning it over there as we thought they might want to play it safe, coming up with that big uh, stop on fourth down. And then they gave the ball right back to them and they're going again, they're trying it. So they have this year evidently some pass offense that they didn't have in the past. So, you know, in one of these early season games, even though it's a North South game, Chris, Sometimes you want to show things for all the scouts that are watching for other things that they have to watch in future games. Yep.
Well, that turnover occurred at the 45 second left and it took, you know, basically South just 23 seconds to score. And uh, this could be the last play of the half. South is showing a four-man rush. Rolling out. And to end the half, number 42. Jeff Selko. Yeah, Jeff Selko ends the half with a big sack. He's their stand-up defensive end, and that's what he's supposed to do, and he did it well in that play as South leaves the field, high fine and showing a lot of emotion. And North, of course, right now, just the opposite. Well, that's the end of the first half. It's Sheboygan North. Six, Sheboygan South leads with 19. It's up to you to make sure your family is safe. And the best thing you can do is prepare. To find out how to protect your family, including your pets, in an emergency, please visit the ASPCA website or Tony LaRusso's Animal Rescue Foundation website. Be a responsible pet parent and be prepared. For 37 million Americans, this is life, living below the poverty line. Every day, a struggle just to hang on. Right now, one in eight Americans lives like this. Many have jobs, children, families, and every day, hanging on gets a little bit harder. Find out what you can do. Please, don't let one more fall. Go to PovertyUSA.org and get involved. to do is listen. When was the last time you heard God? <laughs> Come, listen with us.
Put yourself in her place. You were never the pretty one or the smart one. Nobody understood. Most of the time you hate your family and frankly, sometimes they hate you. Once you even try to hurt yourself. Eventually they send you away and you think your life is over. But really, it's just beginning. Since 1913, Star Commonwealth has helped thousands of troubled kids get a new perspective on life. Help us keep it going. Visit star.org. Do it today. Welcome back, everybody, to the second half. Sheboygan South leads Sheboygan North 19-6. to six. Uh, Let's take a look at some of the numbers here, Greg. Uh, Ray Smith carried the ball 11 times for 129 yards and a touchdown. But you got to think that the uh, story of the first half is John Kabai, who was uh, what I had, 7 for 8, passing for 116 yards, two touchdowns and no interceptions. Yeah, he's had a good game. I know South's done some things out of a shotgun, which they hadn't shown before. And he's rolled in a couple, and his receivers have been wide open. They've had uh, some nice pass routes today, that's for sure. I know they picked on a sophomore defensive back for North, but they uh, ran a nice route. And uh, what do you got for North stats, Chris? Well, uh, to be honest with you, it's been uh, quite, a, quite a tale of two different uh, quarters here. Sheboygan North came out. Uh, pretty well. Uh, as a matter of fact, Travis Vandewater in the first quarter was four for five for 70 yards, but in the second quarter he was just one for five. Uh, and the key there was two turnovers or two interceptions. And the last one, uh, that interception there, really cost North from making a one-score game to a two-score game. And uh, now North is is uh, trailing 19 to six. Interesting that they committed to good passing. Had they, had they passed 10 times in any one game last year? Well, probably only when they're behind. Yeah. Well, South's going to receive the ball to start this half. Uh, leading rushers for she uh, Sheboygan North. Noel Deppies carried the ball five times for 31 yards, uh, all in the first quarter. Uh, Matt Rolsey had a touchdown. Uh, he had uh, 18 yards. Uh, David Thompson had 20 yards. Uh, Travis Vandewater was sacked on that last one, so uh, he got his totals down to just four yards. And uh, also carrying the ball in the first half for Sheboygan North was Robert Strickler. Uh, Ray Smith and John Kabai were all the rushing attempts for Sheboygan South. Uh, John Kabai also has 16 yards to go with that 100 and 16 yards passing. Danny Stockdale is going to kick off, and here we go with the second half. Nice kick, fumbled, picked up in plenty of time by Grant Renzum and ran up the middle. Good coverage by North, number 51 making the stop. Ryan Gatuski at about the 22 yard line, 23 yard line. Well, to start the third quarter, Sheboygan starts will start off at the 29 yard line. It'll be first down and 10. There's number 16, John Kabai with an outstanding. First half, two touchdown passes, one to Renzelman and one to, to uh, Curtis Wilson of the famous Wilson brothers from the south side. Under center, fakes the Bannock, rolls around the left side, cuts up, has some good running yardage, up to the 41-yard line, gain of about 16. Yeah, John Kabai just kept it on himself, and he carried the ball out to about the 41 there. We'll call that a gain of about... 12 yards for him. John's a hockey player and he showed that uh, intensity on that run, that's for sure. Let's see if uh, South wants to come out here in the third quarter, maybe uh, pound some sand and uh, just carry the ball a little bit. Curtis Wilson left, Travis Burnett right, Lucas Bannock moves in motion, almost a penalty, I think he moved a little bit. Ray Curly Smith. Smith on the outside, there's what happened in the first half, Chris. He had no answer to keep him contained and that one they didn't either. There's a flag down out there, however. Yeah, I think, unfortunately, they threw that flag in the direction of Travis Burnett. Coming back to block, probably, right? I think that's going to be South's just second penalty. We got a hold? Yep, or legal use of hands, whichever. Again. Flag thrown at the 47. 
of South. Officials talking. Matt Rosie says, of course, we'll take the penalty. One of the North senior captains. Referee marches it off, and it'll go back to about the 37-yard line. So we'll call it first and 14, just starting the second half, 11-24 of the third quarter, 19-6. Sheboygan South over North. Turnovers have uh, been an issue, three for North, two for South. Uh, each team has capitalized on those turnovers as well. John Kabai under center. Lucas Panic, the up back, Ray Smith deep. Yep. Fake rolls out to he's his got him again. left. This time he's going to keep it under center and he gets some positive yardage out across the 45. Kabai gets to about the 40, well, we'll call it the 45 yard line. It looked like Connor Stengel did not bite that time. No, he did not. And Travis Brunette ran out there. He gave that same give and go, but Connor Stengel, good for him. Learned from his mistake last time and had good coverage. We'll call it second and about six. I might add a good decision by John to keep it on that. He put his head down, ran nicely. So he's having a good all around game. I think the South offensive line needs to be applauded so far too. Bannock keeps the ball. Hey. Keep the defense honest, a gain of about one, one and a half. Yeah, Jacob with his first carry tonight. Got to keep the blocking back happy a little bit, right? Third down, about four. A long three, one of those. Third down. Brian Urbanek, center. John Kabai underneath. Watch Ray Smith here, I think. And a little bit of a stretch, and he's yep. nobody out there. No containment. Hasn't been hit yet, coach. Nope, and he's cutting it across the 30, across the 25, and close to the 20 yard line. Ray Smith, here's a replay. Here nice it is, a stretch, hasn't been hit, still hasn't been touched. And basically, uh, what did we get for a gain in that one? It's 30 some yards, huh? 32 yards, if they're calling it the 20, well, we'll make it the 21 yard line. They ran a stretch similar in the first half where he wasn't touched, and we talked about that, that they needed containment, and that time they had none. That being north. Here it is, first down, a 21-yard line. 31-yard gain there for Ray Smith. We got Ray as an up back this time. He's got 160 yards in this ball game, and, and tack on some more. And they give it to him, straight up the middle. South line led by Brian Urbanic. Good. Getting a hole there. Good north-south running there by Ray. That was a different look that time. He was the up back, and they had Grant Renzelman behind him. We're going to call it second down and two. South on the verge to break in this game wide open if they can punch it in here. Goodbye. Gives it to, he keeps it, rolls yep. right, hit hard. David Thompson turning it up. All runs here, Greg, as Kabai kept that one and gains a first down. I think Matt Rolsey put the finishing touches, but a nice play again. We're gonna call that the nine and a half yard line. Clock now going again on 8.16. So a long drive as they came with the opening kickoff in this half. First and goal to goal for South. There's, you can see the rain starting to fall now. Goodbye keeps on the ground. Stretch Gibson play to Smith. Smith. Nice tackle there though by Travis Vanderwater as he wrapped up Smith. Still gained a little bit, but uh, was pretty much shut down to maybe a one yard gain. Stretch offensively and defensively. They, they did what they were supposed to do on that one. Ooh, we're gonna call a no gainer again for Smith. The so wind is picked up, still blowing out of the north. So John, if he elects to pass, will be throwing right into it, but our, we haven't had to really 
do too much against it when either quarterback that way. There's a stretch to Ray going to the right side. I don't think Great anybody's going to touch him, Chris. Great I don't blocking. Think anybody's going to touch him, and they don't. Travis Brunette sealed David Thompson there. Smith gets around in and scores for Sheboygan South. Here we go. Here you see it, number 74. Kelvin Wink also pulling a little bit. Travis Burnett sealing, as you said. Ray Smith goes in untouched from, what was that, the nine yard line? There you see Ray. Peter Moore gonna kick the extra point. The snap is a little high, handled well. And the kick is good. Jacob Bristol does the holding, and then he did a nice job of handling a high snap a little bit behind him. The kick was down and good, so that makes the score 26 to six in favor of the South High. I almost was gonna say Redmond, the Red Wings. Gosh, that dates, but I... Eyes me up a story that someone tell me There you see the rain coming down. Brian Andrews down there taking those shots. Eric Wiesman up on top getting rained on. Uh, you see the score, 26 to six. Obviously something that was discussed at halftime. Uh, South decided to come out, run the ball each time there, Greg. And uh, not only did they run it, they ran it efficiently. Uh, 71 yards on nine plays capped by a Ray Smith touchdown. And North will not touch the ball until there's 721 left, so they played a little ball control, that's for sure. And that, that brain and win now may be a factor, Chris, as it wasn't all game, but it may be now. Yeah, South's defense really did a nice job on North's running game in that second quarter, and, and now you can see the rain kind of shifting across. It's, uh, right now, Owen Pools picks it up, and he's gonna have good field position again for Sheboygan North, as they're gonna start uh, at this, their own 40. Did a nice job of handling and cradling a low kick. He didn't have to go to a knee and he caught it well. <laughs> I don't know the official return. I don't know the official return yardage, but handled well. <laughs> well, that's one thing Norse had tonight is good field position. As you can see the rain coming down. We knew it might be a factor. Uh, been rainy all week. No different right now. North's going to have to get their running game going as well. There's, There's David Thompson. Inside reverse that was snuffed out. And you have a host of South High Redmen making the play. Taylor Billman in on it. We have a South player down right now. I think it's Zelko, but I'm not sure. Better not say anything here until we find out. Well, whatever the South coaching staff said at halftime, the players have responded as they've put up their drive and on the first play for scrimmage for North, it's a big, big loss. It does look like Jeff Zelko. Jeff's an outstanding uh, player a year ago and again, you know, starting off the first game of the season, the last thing we want to do is see a South High player wobble off. We saw that last year with Nick Wilson. Getting a little bit better with each step. So we wish him well as Aaron Sheebly, number 77, is in. Now Shane Foltz and Justin Reinecke. That was a good shot of Ray Smith. Unofficially, I have Ray for 177 yards, and we're just in the third quarter. Well, there's a new quarterback there, Ryan Eigenberger. Good running there by David Thompson as he lunges across the 45. It was a, he's shown a lot of spirit when he runs tonight. There's no doubt about that, but South North is still at third and nine now. Ryan Eigenberger, junior quarterback. Oh, yeah, he's junior. Yep. Well, Ryan, a baseball player as well. Played on the basketball team last year for the JVs. So multi-sport athlete, I always like to see that. 
Sets up a third though and nine as you said, Greg. Strickler in motion. One back in the backfield. Eigenberger's gonna use his feet. He's looking for receivers. He dumps one over the middle and it's caught by Thompson. Should be a first down. Was that wobbly or was it tipped? But he did do a nice job. And in fact, he's rolling hard left and just had to kind of loft it out there. Yeah, we, Marty and I have always said that, especially for high school, you know, and we saw that with Taylor last year, throwing, going to the left and throwing back right is an awful difficult pass, you know, for anybody. He, he did a nice job there. Yeah, he did. He, it was a good, he showed a good touch on that one. That was a big play for North. They needed some first downs here. Let's call it, change and call it the 43 here. Vandewater now has a set receiver out to the right. I think that handoff was to Rolsey there. And he didn't want to go down. He tried squirming for extra yardage. North is quickly huddling now. Vandewater's, I don't know if he's called taking plays or just going out on this one. Now he's going out. We got the big wide receiver Stockdale in. And he's going to be tight right now. Eigenberger under center. Yep, call it second and five. You're going to have the inside handoff there. This time to Thompson, who pushes through two guys, bangs through three tacklers across the 20 inside of the uh, Red Wing territory. We'll call it the 17-yard line. Tyler Ebers, one of the stand-up ends, made the tackle after uh, he must have broke three or four tackles, didn't want to come down. The senior showing a lot of heart. We'll call that an 18 yard run for Thompson. Has it been that long since his brother Charles has played? Oh yeah, Charlie's uh, graduated uh, already from Valparaiso University. Outstanding young man. Here's an inside fake. He's gonna roll right, not much there. He kind of tiptoed up to the line. Welcome to the varsity football game. Eigenberger's first carry. Not one which he enjoyed. You can see after he handed off, oops. <laughs> or faked the handoff, I meant he turned in the line and there it was. He wished he would have handed off, I guess. It's a big drive for North, trying to sustain the 420 mark, third quarter. Eigenberger barks out signals. Holds, splits left. Quick handoff, let's give it to Rolsey again, who mushes his way down to about the 15, but Red Wings swarming there as Rolsey gets up. Eric Escobar leading a block on the left side are starting their off North's offensive line now is starting to let themselves be known. Kevin McGee. Call it the tag team Cleveland boys, Rolsey and Thompson. Always amazing in all sports, the number of athletes that come out of tiny village of Cleveland. I'm always, you know, partial to baseball, as I know you are, but we do see a large number of just athletes coming out of there, that's for sure. Both boys and girls, I might add. Full house backfield right now. Third and five. Quick handoff to Thompson, who pushes it, and he's gonna be close to the first line marker there at about the 10. One nice stutter step, kinda got him into that. Started to go wide and cut back, and the officials are going to call a timeout for a measurement. Okay, here's your chance. <laughs> As the door is in the way here, I'll say he didn't make it, I'll say. They're not going to measure. Yes, they are. Yeah, it looks like the it could be inside the line, and the ball seems to be outside the line. Right. So, so I kind of seem to agree with you, Greg, but we'll have to wait and see. Both teams establishing the run in the third quarter, and they're going to give it to him. We're both well, wrong. You better tell Marty that I was off. I was as bad as he was on calling those. <laughs> When's your next game there, Chris? Friday night, but I'm not sure where we play. I think we're going to uh, be here. Green for, Bay West here. Yeah, Another non-conference game, but a, an opponent that... No, that's conference. That'll be the first game of conference. Oh, well, they will. Yep. Okay. I was... Uh, I thought, I thought we were going to be here um, for West, but I wasn't sure. 
There's Thompson again, but this hey, is a fumble. Fumble at the line of scrimmage and lost. Did he land on the ball? He did stock deal on it. He got hit as he handed off. I, if we can get a replay and see who made a nice hit. He's either a left stand-up end or a left linebacker. And again. Here we'll see maybe. Get the number. Head was down 47, I think it was. That's I think it was right. Ebers. It could have been Ebers okay. there. Tyler Ebers, an outstanding baseball player as well. Second down and 14 from the 14. North can get a first down. Ooh, Lifts, kind of a twist straight. and a screen. He didn't have much time. He Perfect did a nice play. job of getting rid of it. Perfect play. Oh, ahead of steam. And he ran hard. Touchdown. That was a nice looking play. Now he got rushed even a little harder than he was supposed to be. You know, you have to let that screen, you have to let that defense come in. But he did a nice job. He spun and threw it out there. And that showed a lot of a junior quarterback. That's for sure, Chris. We'll probably see a replay. And you watch how he has to spin to avoid being sacked. He drops back. You got to let the defense come in a little bit, but then he just spun and just got it out there. And Matt Rolsey with his head. Him and Thompson, but when they run, they put their head down. There's a missed snap, but it may turn into an extra point anyhow. Nope, nope. he couldn't get around. Well, at the end of, uh, well, not the end, excuse me, with two minutes and eight seconds left in the third quarter, it's now South 26, but North has 12. These days, kids are logged on or plugged in almost 24-7. Parents need to start early to help kids make good technology choices. But where do you start? Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey Kyle. What are you doing? We need to talk about your choice of games. Tunedinfamily.com. Helpful tools you can use for the good of your family. Welcome back to uh, South High School where Sheboygan North puts up their own 56-yard drive and pulls within 14 on a Ryan Eigenberg screen pass to Matt Rolsey. We were just saying before we went off that the extra points have been an adventure for both teams tonight of a possible six. They're converted on two, and sometimes early in the season special teams don't get the work you need. I don't know if that's the case or not. There's a kick handled at about the 15-yard line by Renzelman. Coming around the left side, gets a real nice block down there from Bruno. Go. Dan Stacktail's back, he's the only guy, but good hustle there by number 62, I think it was. Kyle Maher pulled him down from behind. He got a nice block from Travis Brunette. That's the second time we've seen him get his body between somebody and the ball and doing a real nice job. That was a key play. Here North had some momentum. South got it right back, Chris. Just the third. Possession here in the second half as each team has had the ball once, each team has scored once. South starts in North Territory at the 43 yard line, leading 26 to 12. Total yardage, I think, is going to be high on both ends. John Kabai under Urbanic, fakes right, comes rolling left. Nice play. There's nobody there. He's got a man down just a little bit behind. Jake Reuter right in and out of his hands. That sophomore Jake Reuter at 6'5", 195. Left-handed basketball player, I might add. Pass was just a little bit behind him, made it difficult to hang on to. He also had a man deep. I don't know if you saw that or not. Well, that now makes John Kabai eight. What do I got him here? Seven for eight, make it seven for nine on the day. He's been red hot on his passing. First pass attempt for South in the second half. I thought it was a very well-developed play, just didn't work. Here yeah. comes John Kabai. Anytime you can run a pass play and you have a choice of receivers, that's a good thing. There's Ray Smith on the carry. And John's a clever guy. Most high school quarterbacks have a chance for two. You know, you can read off one and pick up a second. Wow, they're gonna call him down at the 40. Gain a five. It's going to set up third down and five. You might see a shotgun. You might see a stretch play here. What do you think? 
Why are we getting a measurement? North here? has a player down, I think. Oh, that's what, okay. Or an equipment. No, one of the coaches going out there, somebody down. Yep, it could be a cramp. Well, while we have a timeout on the field, we'll take a quick break here. It's south 26, north 12. School programs. Wouldn't you rather be helping? Hey, new guy. Shovel, right? Yeah, Rake, and I'm not exactly new. I've seen some action. Yeah, what's your story? Hey, my last gig, I nearly got electrocuted, almost drowned. That guy never called 811 to see if it was safe to dig. Our guy calls every time he digs. It's quick and easy. Any tool can do it. Calling 811 gets your underground utility lines marked for free. It makes every project safer for everyone. Hey, safe digging is no accident. Always call 811 before you dig. Okay, we're back, and it's third down, about five for South. Big play for North. South getting the momentum back. Ray Smith, the lone back. To Bye. Barks out signals. To Gives Smith. To Look like no place to go this time as Sheboygan North finally gobbles him up on a nice play by number 50 again, A.J. Conrad. Now, because he had was hit immediately, or did he actually look like he might have been looking downfield? Did you see the way he did that? I wish we could see that again to see if a receiver was downfield. Oh, you're thinking maybe pass? Yeah. Then? He just kind of ran that one tentatively, but the fact that Conrad did such a nice job, sometimes that can make things look differently too. So South forced the punt, and I believe this is their first punt of the game. Yep, it is. Travis Runette, and they're going to let some clock run off here. Good decision here as they are punting into the wind. There's 24 seconds left here in the third quarter. Be interesting to see if they take a penalty or just wait to the last second, and they are going to take a penalty. So the line of scrimmage will become the 50. I'm not sure of what that does for him right now, Chris. I'm not so sure either because basically you're going to have to kick into the wind anyways. There was just too much time, you're right. They couldn't run it down that far. Unless they start the clock right away. North's going to take the yardage. Does the clock start again? That is, that's the question I'm not sure of. I thought it did. And the official is waving his arm in a circular motion, indicating here goes the clock. Yeah, which means that they're going to... Well, now Punt with about 12 seconds. I don't know what they did that, and he gets off a shank job, basically. Yeah, what you should have done Short is... Short Walby, it takes a bad hop for South. Why did they snap the ball? They could have let it run down and then kick with the win. But as a result, North's going to have excellent field position about where they started the last drive. <laughs> down 26 to 12. There's just three clicks on the clock. Yeah, I'm not sure that nine-yard punt on why if the clock was going, they could have done the same thing again. Are you allowed to? Yeah. Well, they could have just let it run down and started over. They wouldn't have got another penalty because the clock would have ran out. Well, North's going to try to climb back in here as they get the ball for just the second time in the in the quarter, but this time there's only three seconds left. Now, Ryan they, Eigenberger. They have a strong wind at their back. Do you think they'll put one up there to end the quarter and use the wind? I would think they should pass the ball here with the wind. Good, good call here, Greg. But they're not, so. There's oh, Matt Rolls in the big room. game. He's down to the 45, to the 40. They and tried he, to strip it. Oh, almost did. He said hello to Taylor Billman on his way around the corner. Well, that'll end the third quarter. North on the move, but South still leads 26 to 12. High school, the cost can put it out of reach. There is help. We are federal student aid, part of the U.S. Department of Education. Each year, we award $80 billion to all eligible students and families. Learn more at federalstudentaid.ed.gov. Don't get left behind. The most costly education is the one not begun. Federal Student Aid. Start here. Go further. Wait. We will. Wait. Wait. We will. Wait. Wait. We will. Wait. Wait. We will. Wait. Wait, wait, we will, will, wait, wait, we will, we will be strong, wait, 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 we will stay strong, wait, 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 we will protect ourselves, wait, wait. 
Welcome back to South High. About to start fourth quarter action. There you see Greg on your screen there on the left. Wave in there. I'm Chris Wright. As we said before, Mike Martin is taking the night off to be in a tuxedo. Nobody wants to pay to see that. So uh, <laughs> they have to provide gifts to his son. North with the ball. 35 yard line. We're going to probably get a penalty here. Either a procedure, motion, illegal motion. Noel Deppie's back in at a running back. Yeah, Noel hasn't carried the ball since the first quarter. It's basically been uh, David Thompson, Matt Rolsey. Rolsey I have unofficially for 49 yards. David Thompson has 40. They are both the kind of yardage though that, that uh, punishes tacklers, shall we say. And Eigenberger's getting the snaps here in this second half. Well, Vanderwater had those two turnovers. Uh, so decided, we knew that quarterback would be an issue here for him. So uh, Not to mention he's playing linebacker the entire time too. Here he come on a blitz. He stepped up very nicely. And they get it to the big receiver. Oh, hey, there's dang. his 6'9 is coming into play. Dan Stockdale has. I thought he made a bad decision throwing, and here we got a guy 6'9", he can save you. Watch him roll out, rolls up front, I should say, steps up, covered by about three defenders, but nobody's 6'9", for South. Well, Eigenberger completes the pass, his second straight completion, he's two for two, excuse me, three for three now in the quarter, as Stockdale gets his first catch, and uh, puts North on the 23-yard line. Man in motion. Quick handoff. I Up believe that's Rolsey. That's Rolsey. Usually those straight handoffs go to him. Gains about five. We're going to put the ball at the, oh, we'll call it the 16, 17. Well, you said before about ball control here. Both teams showing it in this half, that's for sure. It hasn't been a battle of punch, shall we say. Call it second down. Ball from about the 17. He's going back to pass. He's got nothing out there. He Screen made again. A middle screen as it turned out, and he might have been better off just throwing it away. Wow. And we got a fumble besides. Well, you know what happened there, Greg? I, the play didn't develop as quickly this time. And uh, South read it pretty well, and they've got the ball on the turnover. He completed it to Rosie, and he fumbled. And here you see it, and just trying to pick up extra yards, it looked like the ground almost called, caused it. The fourth turnover for Sheboygan North. So South will take over on the 15 yard line. Now I think we're gonna see some, everybody loves Raymond here on this one, wouldn't you think? Ray Smith. North in a four-man front. Now we have a timeout. Pointing, Possibly. He's pointing to the north bench. Well, we getting a penalty. And it's a timeout north. With that timeout, Sheboygan South leads 26 to 12, 10 48 left in the third qu fourth quarter. fetch and roll over. Some dogs take you to Spain and shopping for refrigerators, help you get through grad school, start your own business, go on hikes in the Grand Canyon. Some dogs you trust with your life every day. Being partners with a guide dog is having the freedom to do what you want in life. Nothing more, nothing less. And with your help, nothing need ever change that. Call 1-888-884-DOGS or visit guidedogs.com. And we're back as North saw something they didn't like and called a timeout as South came to the line of scrimmage. John Kabai gets the signals from the bench, calls a play. North, as we said, in a four-man front. Four linebackers. 
John Kabai threw it just one time in that third quarter, and here's Ray Smith. He's looking for 200 yards. He had a He's huge gonna hole. get it. He's at the 40, he's at the 45, 50, 45, 40. Connor Stengel knocks him down, and with no penalty flags down, that will put Ray Smith well over 100 yards. Here you see Ray banged off the tackler there. He had a huge hole off right tackle, and I think that would be James Boutel territory. And Connor Stengel making the play. Down at the 43 yard line of North. 37. So 37. 37, I'm sorry, you're right. So Ray Smith gets over 100, and they, they let uh, Kabai carry the football. I think he handed off to Bannock, the up back. But he didn't. He oh, he didn't? It. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and so Kabai, he's got 41 yards coming into that, that gain there with a big gainer. Uh, good deception. He had six yards. Second down. Now, I guess we'll call it five. 223 yards for Ray already. And there's a quick handoff to Ray. Now, you're playing... Uh, conference opponents, but it's non-conference, so these stats don't go into conference, though, right? How does that work? Correct. They do not go into the conference. And I'm trying to look up a stat here. As Ray gains six yards. Second down. Call oh, it third down about one. Oh, a third down and one. You're right. Trips right. He's done stretch plays to the left when he does that. There's a pitch to the left. He was stood up. But there's a flag, a flag down. It's either in that area of a hold or I don't think it was a face mask. Well, the record all time, Greg, for rushing yards in a north-south game is 263 by Eric Donoval. Ah. Eric Donoval, of course, of lacrosse. I think he's still playing football he there. He is, right. He was hoping for, well, I think he kind of platooned last year. Each year he's been getting more time. Jason Litke was second from Sheboygan North. He graduated 93. Uh, Chris Klein, 91 graduate. Um, Nate Bergaman is fourth on the list. He had 200 yards for South. Uh, Charlie Reschke at 184. And Dave Meyer way back in 1961 at 179 yards in this North-South clash. Was that kind of a round football in those days? With leather helmets. So a penalty on south. That's a hold. So that makes it third and about 14. I have not been able to guess too, much, too right tonight as far as uh, play calling here. So we'll see if they stay conservative or it's an obvious otherwise passing situation. But up by... 14 with 850 left. He may just uh, calling a timeout. Who was not pleased with that one? The South coaching staff. As they broke the huddle, John Kabai was looking towards the bench and he didn't like something he saw or wasn't sure, so he called a timeout. Good call. Now please understand that my numbers are not official. Um but uh unofficially that's a I have Ray now. at 229, so we'll see how close he gets to the record here. Well, he's always one big play away. Yes, he is, yes he is, and uh, I think it'd be kind of neat to, to. I think that's fun for South this year because it was the opposite last year. Their defense was always one play away, big play away. This year, it's their offense that's a big play away. Yeah, Eric Donovan graduated in 2003. Jason Litke, who's second from North, 1993. Um, See if he gets closer as the game progresses here. We have a third down and 15 from the 41. South has a nice big offensive line. They've been doing a good job tonight. Actually, both offensive lines have done well at times, that's for sure. 
Trips right. Yep, Reuter, Brunette, Renzelman. Looking at Wilson, no, he's wide open. And he catches it. Oh, he's good go. And they're gonna call him down at the two. Oh. A nice play, just a tad behind him, made a nice catch. Wrestled down, there was a moment there, they were kind of wrestling for a ball, it looked like. Curtis Wilson came away with it and just tripped up at the, what do we call it, the three? Well, John Kabai completes another pass. He's got, I have him for about 139, excuse me, 155 yards passing now tonight. He's having an outstanding ball game. I have him eight for 11, I believe. There goes Ray around the right end, and I think he's gonna go in. He does, his third score tonight. Ray Smith. So that puts a little explanation mark point. Although still eight minutes left, things can happen, but when he gets that ball around and he's not seriously challenged. I think four yards there was the, uh, told you what, the ball wasn't on the seven, I don't believe. I didn't think so either, but the scoreboard showed it, no, so. No, I don't think so, I think it was on the two there. A high snap, but the kick is good. Well, with that score, it now makes it south, 32, north 12. We'll take a break. It was a seven yard run. I thought they marked him down at the two. I thought they marked him down at the two, so I gotta take some yards away. Sorry there. Uh, the scoreboard John. showed seven, so. Yeah. Whether that was right, I guess it was. We're getting a confirmation from the official statisticians. So Ray Smith with his third touchdown tonight, a seven yard carry at the 813 mark of the third quarter. Makes our score 32 to 12. Turnovers have cost North tonight, and Ray Smith is doing his job as well. There's the kickoff. Matt Rosie with a nice kick to the 20-yard line. There's Owen Pools. He's at the 35-yard line. He gets about hit the 30. Or excuse me, the 30-yard line. And uh, I'll tell you what, South looks like they are have all the momentum going right now. The a lot of hops and skips from their sideline. Turnovers have been the the key problem for Sheboygan North today. I think if we look back at it, the decision to uh, just before the half there really cost them a lot momentum wise and score wise when they decided to go for it and threw an interception. Yes, 33 to 12. Just 8.07 remaining. Here's a handoff here. That's a new running back in the ball game. Hung on to the ball. Adam Siebert or Seibert? S-I-B-U-R-T. Showed some quickness as he ran left and cut back a little bit of 5'8", Junior. Also plays a little D-back. So it's first and 10 from the 40. 10 yard gain there. Eigenberger barking out the signals. There's a bunch of new shirts out here with Clean jerseys. Deppies hasn't carried the ball for a long time. Andrew Malo out here. And a tiptoes around the right end for a gain of maybe a yard. North seems to be getting in some new guys as Deppy kind of hobbles off there. Oh, and unfortunately I saw him go down there. Stockdale back in the game. Joel Bergerino, number 35, he's in the game. <coughs> 706 South in control, 33 to 12. Eigenberger back to pass. He's looking at Bergerino. Gets it out there, but it's another interception. And it's the second interception for Charlie Arissi. 
pass, a little bit underthrown, and Rissi was there, good coverage. Goes back to pass, had some time, and it was just a good play by Charlie Rissi. He made a couple good plays last year until he broke his finger, and that put him out for the season amongst many South Red Wings last year. And here he's back, full bore with two picks here. As you said, the South High bench elated, and the North bench, of course. I believe that's the fifth turnover for Sheboygan North. And off to that's a Bannock. New that was Bannock in there, number 40. Straight ahead. Not too much running room, but we're talking about eating the clock up right now. Did gain almost five, carried a couple couple tacklers with him. We will call it a gain of five for Bannock. Brings up second down and five inside of North Territory again. at the 46 and South not in a hurry here. No, exactly. Unofficially here, I, that's like I said, Ray Smith at 229. And, and Ray. It was Ray up the middle there for about four more. 233, then what do you, what, uh, maybe two more, three more. No, now they're changing it to another yard. So four yards on their pickup. What does that put him at? 233? And you said the all-time north-south record was? The all-time record is 263. Okay, so he needs a, unofficially 30 yards. As we have 536 left in the ball game. He's still in it running back. Third down and one. As is most of South's first team. There's a handoff to Smith. There's Ray. He's got the first down. And he'll be the first to say he'll take that first down right there. As they move the chains. Pick up of about two. Move the chains and there's five minutes and 20 seconds with the clock rolling. Still kind of a heavy mist right now. The field has in, been in great shape. Of course, we really didn't have a deluge all week. It's just been kind of the rains where it's been good for grass, actually. Here's a stretch to the right. He gets around the corner. No one's touched him. Oh, what a penalty there flag. There was a flag that. Oh, and there it could have been the record. Oh, boy. That could have been the, the north south record, but instead they're going to have a penalty. It's too bad because it happened and was in, it was not uh, a factor. He'd already turned that corner. Here we'll see it. I don't want to point the number out, but we don't see it real well. If that was the flag, that was kind of weak. I think they're going to call it on Jake Reuter, but the guy turned into him. Are we allowed to say that was kind of a weak call by the official or not? Huh? <laughs> he needs 22 yards, well, I believe. Ball's at the 50. So it makes it a first and 20. First and 20 from the 49. Bannock the up back, Smith deep back. There's Kabai to the Ray up Smith. The middle. Give him a game of about six there. Nice blocking up front by Aaron White. 6'2", 200 pound junior guard. Was brought up to the varsity last year. Saw some time. I know he played a little bit of north-south game after injuries and depletions of the line. I think he played a little tight end last year at that time. 354 left, south 33, north 12. Kabai taking this one. Backs up, looks at the plate. I think you'd tell him to run some clock here. And then they call a timeout. I think they're going to get in some second players here. Some second team players. 
And they are. So Ray Smith. John Schrank had the stats, and we were exactly right. Well, you've been working so hard, you deserve it. Good for you. All right. I can't believe I was right on the number that he had. So he'll be second all time in the North South rivalry games behind uh, Eric Donoval. He also had three touchdowns tonight. Uh, the whole South offense from. Uh, their receivers to their front line to John Kabai at the helm and Ray Smith. Everybody did an outstanding job offensively, that's for sure. I'm sure I'm missing people. Yeah, I. it's either 8 of 11 for John or 8 for 10. Uh, he's over 100 yards. John also has got about 50 yards passing. Now there's going to be some new guys in there. We'll try to mention them as we can. Jacob Risto at the helm. Now we got to worry about sometimes the center quarterback exchange when you first get in there it can be a bit tough. Let's hope he does well here. It's a snap and straight ahead. I believe that's number 25. Yeah, Danny Diener. Danny carry. Diener gets a carry. Yep, Danny Diener also plays baseball, I know. 325 and counting, 33 to 12. Jacob Riston, number one, he's your quarterback. Uh, his father, Jeff's right in front of us. He does statistics here. Also math teacher here as his uncles, Dan and Phil and Ken. Second back is number 32, Matt Mark Sager. Barks out the signal, he's gonna keep it. Rolls around left side. Gives a little stutter step. Risto with a gain. Number 60. So he's in the varsity stats. He Coach Korf trying to get more guys in as they're gonna punt, I think. have to punt here. They don't want to run any score up, so they're gonna, well there's gonna be a timeout. It's Coach Hine is gonna talk about it on the field here. help preserve our environment. I got involved. I boosted tourism in my farm community by painting 55 barn quilts. I got involved. I enjoy gardening and love delivering a fresh supply of produce and flowers to a local shelter. I got involved. Young volunteers have a winning spirit that we think is worth celebrating. Middle and high school students, ask your school principal about applying for a Prudential Spirit of Community Award. Volunteer. So South called a timeout. Jim, Jim Raffin there stands tonight. Okay, we're gonna punt. That's Travis Brunette's job. I think this is only the second punt of the night for South. Well, it looks like he's got the first team punt group in there. Just wants to make sure everybody's set. North trying to have their right numbers out on the field. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here comes eleven. There's for 11. forty-five. Sean Ewig came on to make it eleven. Here comes a snap from about the forty-yard line. Made about a nine-yard punt last time, so he's going to try and better himself. Gets a tough snap, great hands, and gets off a really nice punt. And, and it does go in the end zone, however, but a 40-yard punt, a nice punt. That was that was exactly right. The last thing you wanted there was some type of return. So Sheboygan North will be coming back out on the field, trailing by three scores. 2.39 left. South will go to 1-0. and This is not a conference game. We've mentioned that before. Um, North seems to be in a hurry up offense here. They'd like to end the game on a positive note and see if they can do some more things offensively. They had a really nice first quarter offensively. Hasn't been as consistent since. It's got a full house backfield. Now we got a man going up into a wing or a slot. Well, Vanderwater's back. At, and now, oh, Eichenberger's gonna do that pass and Stockdale's wide open. We thought maybe we'd see that before when they were both in there. Nice option. 
even though he's a quarterback, he ran that one from the halfback spot, so it becomes an option and completed for a nice game. Pulling the tricks out of the hat. Again, you do things like that now, and you see what can work, and you have teams scouting that now have to be ready for things like that later on down the road. 48-yard line. Vandewater and Eigenberger both in the game again. Vandewater on the right slot. There's a handoff up. to uh, number 35. That's uh, Joe, Joe Bergerino. Bergerino. It looked like the backs moved a little bit early, but there's no flag down. It wasn't a real pretty play. He never was tackled. Line of scrimmage stays the same, Chris. Bergerino with a carry of none. Now we've got uh, Vandewater going in, Eigenberger going out. At the one minute and 38 second mark, brings the troops to the line. South has some new players in on defense as well. 84. Certainly a different look Andy here. Malo in motion. He Probably the snap a little bit, but he handled it nicely. Rolls right. Going to loft one out there. Oh, good try by Joe Bergerino there, but good defensive play by number 30 of South, Grant Woodland, Jr. That time Vandewater tried to make something happen. He kind of rolled and waited to see if there'd be any separation. Lofted it out there nicely, but incomplete. So it makes it second down, third down, I'm sorry, third and 10. Vandewater hands it off to Strickler. He got a big gainer here late in the game. 14 yard pickup, he'll take that. Well Greg, thanks for stepping Straight in for ahead. Marty. This that was fun Chris, we get to, I get to do this every couple of years and I enjoy working. So last time I think you were the one that was out and I worked with Marty. I've never seen anybody work as diligently on the statistics <laughs> as you. Well we did our best but Marty's, Marty's really the master at it. I'll tell you what, Malo is wide open and he catches a pass inside the 25 yard line. They're calling the clock inbounds. The clock will be ticking here 50 seconds left. Are you going to try and get some Yeah, I'll get some interviews. interviews. We'll, we'll take a couple minutes here and kind of uh, wind things up with you up here. Uh, this game will be played tonight at 10.30, tomorrow morning as well at 10 o'clock, and on Tuesday night as well. Also, if you want to catch Mike Martin and my preview show, you can do that uh, for the season as Travis Vanderwater Ended the first half with a sack, and I think he's going to end the game with one. Noah Ross and Shane Full split a sack on that one. They had nice, nice job of defensive pass rushing. Nurse going to call a timeout and want to see if they can get a playoff yet. A good one. Well, uh, tonight, Ray Smith. I think Ray stepped up and showed just kind of what kind of back he's capable of being as he gained 240 yards tonight. Uh, and the line looked really good. You know, to show you what kind of a marked man I think he's going to be, it didn't surprise anybody here, I don't think. You know he has the capability of a 30-yard runner at any time, but then now you put John Kabai had a nice night, and the key to that was their offensive pass patterns were outstanding. They seemed to be open. John had patience. Between that and Ray, now the, the defenses around this new conference are going to have to be a little bit worried about South. Uh, turnover is the game as well tonight. Greg, uh, North committing five. Uh, South had a big one on their own one, which set up a North score, but really the turnovers by North uh, just, you know, helped South quite a bit. Turnovers are always going to do that, but I think North has plenty of good things happen to them tonight as well. I think they had some really nice offensive plays, and their backs ran exceptionally hard. Their quarterbacks had some nice play at times, so they certainly don't look like a bad outfit, that's for sure. Yeah, you can really probably rely on uh, Thompson and Rolsey this year. Now they're situational play. Oh! It was a nice looking play, but there to make the hit was number three for South, Brett Watson on Joe Bergerino, but that play was kind of a fun one to watch, a double pass. Yeah, nice kind of reverse pass there. Our Third. next ball game will be next week. We'll be back here at Sheboygan South when Sheboygan South takes on Green Bay West. 
It'll be interesting to see if they have that 295 pound running back. <laughs> yes, I remember, remember him. And this fourth down, I'm sure they're gonna go for it, pull out some trickery again. They move men around quite a bit. It's Vandewater at the helm. Fakes once, waits for his man to go, and it's gonna throws into a crowd. Ooh, look like he pushed off. Pass was just, that was a tough one to catch. Yeah, Brett Will Watson over there for Sheboygan South, as is uh, number 30 again, uh, Grant Woodland. Uh, Andy Poles tried to make a great catch there, but just couldn't pull it in there. He's had a nice game. He's worked hard, and he's, we've called his name a lot tonight, so he's done a lot of good things. Coach Korf going to give him the old victory signal. And 10 seconds left. He'll probably take a knee. South players, especially those back from last year, have to feel elated. Yes. Coach Hine, especially since he had an appendectomy the day of the North-South game, missed that. So this is officially his first win as that, and he's happy. You see the south sidelines, now you see the players. Well, that'll be your final score, 33 to 12. Greg, thanks again for stepping in. I'm gonna go down and get a couple of victorious Red Wings. There's Coach Hine telling the boys to shake hands, show some sportsmanship. Congratulations to Sheboygan South and their staff. Thanks, Chris, and have a good year the rest of the time. I know you will. And you and Mike Martin take these South, Sheboygan South and Sheboygan North players to some good victories this year, huh? Thank you very much. When I return, I'll be back with a couple uh, Red Wings. Mom. What does God look like? Flowers. Flowers for the one you love. Flowers. You. When was the last time you saw God? Flowers. Flowers for the one you love. Flowers. Sure, my neighbors Gene and Louise, they may be superheroes with superpowers, but that doesn't make them so super at saving energy and money. Honey! I may not be able to harness the power of the elements, but I save significant cash and help the environment with appliances, electronics, and windows featuring the Energy Star label. So discover your own energy-saving superpowers. Go to ase.org slash consumers. Mom, Dad's making fun you again. The world has changed a lot since 1970. That's when Congress created the Securities Investor Protection Corporation, SIPC. For 37 years, we've remained focused on one thing, helping investors in the unlikely event that their brokerage firm encounters difficulties. We've helped more than 600,000 investors recover over $14 billion in assets. We're the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. There for you then, here for you now. Teenage boy, you want to have sex? Think, 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 man. Think about this. It's not just you. Think about the other people involved. Think about the girl, her family, her thoughts, her future. You know, she has goals. What about the respect for the values that your parents gave you? What about the little kids in your neighborhood who happen to look up to you? Think about that before you take that step. Think about yourself. Think about the things you want to do. Don't you have goals? How about thinking ahead? Just think. And we. We're back here with two happy Red Wings. Defense tonight, five turnovers. That was, I think, one of the keys of the game. Yes, it was. Coach had us prepared perfect for this game. Just did our jobs and great things happened. Yeah, I think the turnovers cost things to help the offense and things like that. Uh, first drive for uh, North, they go right down the field and you stop them right away. Yep, um, it's just adjustments needed to be made and we obviously did them. It feels great to have a win. Well, I know it's early in the season and coaches are always worried, but I think you made a good point. I think you guys were ready to go tonight, especially on the defensive side. Yep. Um, we practiced hard all week. We've been waiting for this for a long time, so it feels good. Yeah, it seemed like the old bender don't break situation and you, you made the stops when you guys had to. Yep. Um, our defense, everybody did a great job. Linebackers, D-line, it was a complete team game. 
I was over in the huddle there. It seemed like the, the, the staff and the players are all pretty excited about this big victory right away. Yep, well, we got our locker tonight, so it's going to be it's gonna be fun one. Well, congratulations to you. you. Good luck the rest of the way, especially next Thank week we'll be back at West. Ray, uh, right away they started giving you the ball. You had six carries, like 60 yards in the first quarter, 60 yards in the second quarter. You got off to a real good start. Kind of what you wanted to after getting hurt last year. It must have been tough sitting there last year to watch this and then have things happen like this tonight. Uh, you know, I, I really can't. All I had to do was run. If you, everyone was like crushing me the whole season. How's your line gonna be? Is your line, you know, all juniors? Obviously, they proved their point. You know, there's the holes were bigger than last year. I mean, James Butel, Brian, Corey Wunsch, Calvin Wink. I gotta name them all. Jake Reuter. Uh, who who do I forget? Whitey. All did great today. Receivers, receivers on the edge. Beautiful blocking. You know, if I cut back, they come back. They wouldn't quit. So. You stole my thunder here. You had only one returning lineman back from last year, but to how quickly they develop is probably going to be important to what you and the rest of the offense are going to do. You know, they, I told them, you know, they're juniors, and we have one senior. They're all going to be like, no one's going to treat you out there like a junior. They're going to treat you like a senior, you know, so they all stepped up, you know. We got Butel, who's a junior, but he plays like a senior. It had to be big for you tonight after last year sitting out that game with the injury, and you worked so hard in the offseason, and it was, it was nice to come out here and uh, do that job. Uh, me and Coach Hines both talked about it a lot. You know, we were both aching for this game. This is the one game. I was getting butterflies like right when the, the game ended last year. I want to play him real bad. Well, this is a nice start for you. You get another home game right away. I know it wasn't a conference game, but it's still one of those momentum changers. Yep. Yeah. I, I mean, whoever lost this game tonight is definitely gonna, I think, gonna have to pick it up next game. I mean, if we would have lost, it would have been devastating. I mean, good thing we won because it's a good, good up booster, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you and your team. Uh, 242 yards for this young man, second most in the North-South Series all time. Uh, and again, some he set off on the side and he said, all I wanted to do was get the victory or things like that. He didn't know anything about records or thing. And getting that last first down was big. Uh, for the crew tonight, uh, Mike Martin was gone. I want to thank them for everything they did standing in the rain <laughs> in the wind. Uh, and for Kerry Coucher spinning the dials, this is Chris Wright uh, for Greg Schwartz. Uh, we'll see you guys next week when uh, Sheboygan South takes on Green Bay West.